Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new content. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church banner in Corel Draw. Now, in this tutorial, the banner we are going to design today is 20 by 10 feet though i'm not going to use feet in this tutorial because the feet is going to slow down my system so what i'm going to use i'm going to use inches instead of feet so that my system can move fast so let's get started now select your integral Then right click here to uh, remove the art line column. Then I'm going to bring the background I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then drag it here. So I'm going to use this one, scale it out. Then apply transparent here, like this. Then go to your effect, select blur, Gaussian blur. Then that is 20.7. It's okay like this. Then right click or you go to object. Then you will see our clip placed inside frame. Then you click. Then the other one again is this. Then apply transparent over here. Then you go to bitmap to convert it to bitmap. Why I said you should go to bitmap and convert it to bitmap? For example, if I apply a transparent like this, then I do not convert it to bitmap. When I come to this place to apply transparent, then the effect of this one will go away. So now I have to go back to transparent, convert to transparent so that I can also apply transparent over here like this. Then I'm going to blend it to, I'm going to use multiply to, as my blending mode. Then right click, power clip inside. Then I will apply red on my background color, red background. So after this, I will also bring this one, then mirror it to the right. Then I'm going to apply transparent to fade here. Then, okay, select screen, then you have something like this, then right click, select power clip, then I click inside, then this is how it will come out. Now, I will bring my image over here, then shift page up to bring it forward. Like this then I will also bring a rent angle over here like this 
I will apply red color. Then remove the outline color. Right click, then power clip inside. I will bring this light to the light flare here. I will apply transparent just the way I did to the first one. Now select screen, then in fact, go to blur, Gaussian blur, then to reduce the light flare in fact, then click, so click OK. Now I'm going to bring this light flare over here like this. somewhere like this okay now I will select the light flare and the pastor then right click select power clip and I clip inside so you have something like this now now I will bring the church name over here control page up to bring it out then hold your shift key then you select on the background then press c to centralize it then the church logo i'll bring it over here also shift page up then use my arrow key to bring it down. Then select both of them. You move them to this side. You have something like this. Then edit your power clip. Then I will reduce the the pastor image like this. Then I will also then bring down the light flare over here like this. Then click finish. Hold down your shift your alt key. You select the light flare, then use your arrow key to position it well. Then click outside. This rectangle over here, I'm going to apply a shadow. Then go to your shadow property to adjust the shadow. I'm using my arrow key, it's okay, then right click then break the shadow, select all, 
right click then select the power clip then i clip inside and you have something like this now i will bring my test over here ctrl c to copy Ctrl V to paste. Now I'm going to press Ctrl K or you go to object, then you see break here or Ctrl K. Then now I have to break it. Then I'm going to use a font called Avat Avat Kade. So I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it very well. Then I will scale it like this. Bring it over here. Reduce the size a bit. Then I will apply red color. Then apply red color then white outline color double click here when you see this one on your in your own uh, color draw when you see this one double click or you press f12 on your keyboard then i will increase it to eight point then select ok Then on this test here, I'm going to use ONIC, ONIC regular. Then arrange, arrange it. Now select all, then press L on your keyboard. That is to align it. Then click here. So also do the same thing by scale it like this, like the way we do to five. Then now apply the red color, then select white outline color. Then you double click here to bring out your, your property, outline property where you can adjust or increase the outline color now you can see the way it is i'm going to select behind fill so that it will not cover the text then okay then you will have something like this then i will bring the date of the program down to this place Shift F, page up, I mean, then the other things again, I'm going to bring this one back so that there will be space for the date, then reduce it a bit. And use your arrow key to drag it then you have something like this on group
I'm going to change that font over there to century gothic also change this one to century gothic Then you can ungroup them together. Pastor name, shift page up. So what I did is to reduce the transparent so that the red will come out. Now I'll put this one here. Present control page up. Hold on your shift, then you click on the background, press C. To centralize to centralize it now the location I will bring the location over here control page up to bring it forward Move it up a bit. All right. Now, what I'm going to bring last is this one. Control C. Now, Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to use Century Gothic here. Yeah. Then I'll bring this one over here like this. Then apply white color. Then go to the para go to the center alignment here then apply center alignment so now you have something like this then for this i will also apply transparency just the way we we do before Then go to screen. Now your house until like this. Then I'm going to position it here like this. Then Ctrl D to, dupli to duplicate it. Or when you click on it like this, then you move it and right click. Then that is another way of duplicating it. Or you on your keyboard, you press Ctrl D. So you have to get something like this. Now select it. Then power clip it inside. No, no, I don't 
don't have i don't need to power no need to power in this one because this one did not go outside if i power clip it then that means i have to power clip all the test inside all right so now we have something like this then go to edit power clip uh, Ctrl Z then I'm going to move this one over here like this since I have reduced the pastor then I will take this one over here So now so you get something like this. So the last thing I'm going to do is to bring another rent angle over here like this. Then remove the outline color. And I'm going to use this ruby red color over like this. Then I'm going to transparent. Then now you select overlay. Now you select overlay. Then reduce, reduce it. Reduce it. Then I will come over this place so that this pastor it will not affect the pastor face. 